joined on the line by national spokesperson for the Hawks, Captain Paul Ramoloko, who is in Pretoria. Captain, thank you so much for your time and welcome to AM News. Captain, what is the latest on this case? How far are you with it? Uh, good morning to you and uh, your viewers. We just had uh, speculations that uh, uh, there are some people who released information that uh, three suspects were arrested in Mozambique. Mm -hmm. We are saying that uh, we are the only uh, unit investigating um, uh, uh, Karikera uh, 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 case. Mm -hmm. At the moment, we haven't arrested uh, anybody. There is a lot of information we are receiving from uh, various uh, individuals. Mm -hmm. We are pursuing uh, the information as it comes, but uh, at the moment we are saying that uh, we haven't made any arrest, but uh, not long a distance we are confident that uh, we'll definitely have a breakthrough. Captain, have you identified any suspects so far, or any leads for suspects so far? We wouldn't want to talk about the uh, identification of suspects or leads, mm -hmm. but we are saying that uh, when individuals are brought to book in this uh, matter, we will obviously come loud about them. Now, Captain, the Rwanda National Congress has petitioned the SA government to double efforts to protect Rwandan refugees on its soil, particularly to mitigate the threat posed by Rwandan government's operatives within the Republic. Have you been in contact with them? We are saying that uh, at the moment there is no threat. We received a lot of information. Remember, this is not the only um, uh, Rwanda case we are investigating. There are other two cases that we, uh, we have been investigating. We are saying that um, uh, the is no threat, and uh, if people feel that uh, there's anything to share with us, they must uh, come forth. But we are confident that uh, Rwanda nationals in South Africa, they are safe as we speak. Now, Captain, we understand you've also been receiving tip-offs regarding the case, but the sources were not credible. Are you able to explain that situation to us? Yes, uh, indeed. It's not everybody who is coming to us who is um, uh, credible. But we are saying we respect whatever information we receive. We are attending to it as and when it comes. But uh, as soon as uh, we are, I mean, uh, we, we uh, arrest some individuals, we will obviously um, come out to talk about it. The same individuals who come and give us information, we see them going out in the public domain to mention individual uh, names that uh, they are suspects in our case and we are pursuing them and we are not happy about that. And we are just warning those people to be very much careful to mention individual names that they are suspects in our case because uh, they may find themselves jeopardizing our institutions. Thank you so much, uh, Captain, for that. Well, it's time now for...